and we're back at it again hot pants and i are trying this little west fork route again this time though we're going to be going up and over sundance pass this is a trail i've done several times i absolutely love it but hot pants has never done sundance pass and on this trip we have a tag along my cousin from florida is here visiting and she doesn't have a trail name so i'm just going to refer to her as cuz and uh she has never done an overnight backpacking trip in the mountains before so we're gonna get to experience the fun and joy of her first time being in this kind of environment so far it's absolutely beautiful today gonna be a good day for a hike i think let's see what the trail holds We stopped at a little watering hole, dipped our feet in it. It is freaking cold. This Hot Pants attempted to do some fishing. How's the fishing, Hot Pants? I got a bite. I did. But a bite? I didn't set the hook fast enough, and I'm fishing barbless, so that might have been part of it, too. I don't know. What did Barb say about you not bringing her along fishing? She was pissed. Damn it. How are you, how are you enjoying it so far, cuz? So far, so good. I told them that I'm calling you cuz since you don't have a trail name. She got, she got to do something silly to get a trail name, like <laughs> spill food on her pants or see a ghost mule. Yeah,
Yeah, we're lucky. <laughs> it is not normally this green. Alright, so we just finished lunch in Quinnabaw Meadows. Quite busy today. There's a pretty large group down there and some of them were enjoying some swimming in the river, sans clothing. So always a good time up in the mountains. And now we are just continuing on back to where we intend to camp. It's been pretty clear all day today. It's starting to get a little cloudy today. favorite spots along this trail, this little valley here, with a commanding view of my dear old friend, the White Tail Peak in the back. And definitely blowing how's his mind with everything. Uh, she's not used to this kind of stuff, so 
Are you having fun? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if she's quite sure what to make of the camera thing yet or not. Yeah. All my other friends are been tortured long enough of me and my videos, so still new to that. <laughs> here in the background there's a little bit of thunder rolling through so we are making really good time so we decided to hunker down in a less exposed area for a little bit see if maybe it blows through all right so we weathered out through a pretty brief little session of thunder saw a few flashes of lightning but nothing severe but things seem to be kind of cleaning, clearing up a little bit. So we're gonna make a break for it and camp. Where we wanna camp is only about a half mile away. So I think we should be good to hopefully get in there and get set up. Please get the tents up. Save the idols.
I personally just refuse to believe that you don't have scenery like this in Florida. What is the highest elevation point in Florida? Is like the, it's like 300 uh, feet. It's like the top of the uh, Matterhorn ride at Disney World, isn't it? I will say this, it's a lot easier to get stuff situated in the Durston. Yeah. There's just so much more room. We've got camp set up. There's Cuz's tent. We got hot pants, a tiger wall down there. My much easier to set up Durston X Men 2 this time around. We've got a lounge chair area where Connor and I are sending out our messages. And generally speaking, pretty darn good views. So I think we're gonna probably just kind of take it easy for a little bit. I'm thinking about just making food and going to bed soon. I'm beat. But it was a great day. Even with the little bit of weather we had, it worked out really awesome. Super glad to be out here. Just super beautiful place. I mean, can't beat it. All right, beautiful dinner view. Everybody's hard at work making it. I got my main run of my Tokes Titanium 750 milliliter pot. I've used the same pot, the one that Cuz is over there using for the last five, five years, five, I think five years. So big changes abound. And we are also trying to instruct uh, her on how to do the uh, cooking because uh, apparently she's never done one of these meals before. So it's an educational opportunity as well, as long as we aren't total dicks about it. Well, we're also trying to survive an onslaught of mosquitoes. Oh yeah, the, mos the mosquitoes are nuts. Crazy. Ooh, that burns some hair. For every 5,000 feet? For every 5,000 feet. Yep. Yeah. Alright, go ahead and turn your valve until it turns off. Take the pot lid off. And then hold it with the bandana there and then pour it into your meal and stir. Perfect, yep. That's fine. Oh, we got some steam. We got steam. Oh my goodness. We got boil. That might be one of my new favorites. Uh oh, which one is it? That's a good looking pot, I will say that. Yeah, is it? What meal did you got? Um, I went with the Bison Ranch Masher. All right, so we just finished up dinner, and while we had dinner, we had a little visitor. We noticed across the river or the lake that there was a mountain goat um, traipsing around, and she kept looking over at us. We think it was a she. We're not 100% sure. She kept looking over at us and checking us out, and next thing I know, she moved down, and she crossed the stream, and she kind of came up over into kind of just below where we we're having dinner and then she kind of took off again and then when we made it up into camp um, she was also in camp I didn't get any footage of that and she was definitely checking us out as we were getting ready for the night clearing cleaning ourselves up and then stowing our bear canisters and but uh, she seems to have moved on lost interest in us so but uh, that was cool don't get to see those too often right now I think we're just kind of winding down a little 
I'm tired. I may just go to bed pretty quickly here. Um, I think Connor's going to go down and do a little bit more fishing, maybe. Um, I don't know. I might just kind of walk around camp and enjoy the cool breeze, which seems to have killed our, or pushed away some of the mosquitoes a little bit, which is the main reason why we were getting ready to go into the tents early. So, I don't know. We'll see what we're doing. But, like I said, all in all, it was an absolutely great day. A um, little bit of weather, but nothing major. And then tomorrow, we're heading up over uh, Beartooth, or uh, I'm sorry, Sundance Pass. And uh, just about 1,500 feet elevation game. Hopefully, we'll make it there by lunch and have a good lunch. And all downhill from there. Anything you want to say, Hot Pants? I need to catch me a fish. Go catch, go catch you a fish, man. No, no I'm I, excited. Great I'm, day. Fun one. Yeah, this was a good one. Tough, all sorts of cool stuff. Had a, did you talk about that thunderstorm that blew through? We did. We talked a little bit about it, yeah, earlier, but yeah. Yep, they had a little thunderstorm move through. Um, not the most intense storm I've ever been in, but I think any time that you are above a certain elevation, it kind of freaks you out a little bit. So we made the decision to just hunker down into an area that had plenty of higher ground around it and uh, we were clustered into trees although we were away from some of the trees they weren't the highest trees in the area either so all in all i'd say we were pretty safe um yeah so yeah i think we'll just call it an evening then oh i did use my uh uh unpaste um toothpaste tablets and it worked pr okay it's gonna take some getting used to. It's different. It is definitely a little different. Um, especially like a texture at first is a little bit like chewing on chalk. Um, and then the little toothbrush, that took a little bit of practice as well. I really liked the Wissy wipes, um, the little wafer wipes that you add water and they kind of expand and they work really well and there's no like scent to them at all or anything. So um, those may become a a new addition because um, I wiped my neck and my face and my arms off with it and tell you what it was pretty awesome so all right on to day two